Hello everybody and welcome back to another RC Cars presentation and today we'll be taking a look at the 2015 um, tune singles and um, not the three packs. If you guys want to see my review of the three pack with Kabuto with Flames, that link will be down in the description below. But this video will mainly just focus on the Walmart exclusive tune singles. And before we actually get into the singles and um, their details and stuff, I wanted to thank you guys so much for all the support you gave me on the behind the scenes video. That was absolutely amazing how much support you gave me. I mean, I wasn't expecting all that because um, only one person suggested the behind the scenes video, but um, I really can't believe all the support you gave me. That was just absolutely amazing. I'm really happy that you guys enjoyed it because I put some work into it. And I didn't think I actually did that well after watching over it again, but um, I'm glad you guys actually thought I did well. I really do appreciate that. Um, gives me a lot of motivation to keep making YouTube videos and stuff. Um, another thing that I wanted to say is that the 2015 poster has been revealed. The link for that will also be in the description below. Um, I just, there's nothing, um, there is quite a bit to say about it. Um, I just wanted to tell you guys that the two RVs, Doug RM, or Doug RV or whatever, um, and Larry Camper is getting a release, um, in the Piss and Cup series. Um, Pit Crew Member Mac is finally getting a release. Um, also Rip Coach Gonsi gets a crew chief, however, he never did have a crew chief in the uh, movie. It's a fact that, uh, he was the only World Grand Prix racer not to have a crew chief, so Mattel kind of screwed up there. But it does look kind of cool, although he does kind of look like a repaint of Ludwig. Um, but that's all really I wanted to say for the um, poster. Um, uh, what else did I want to talk about, guys? Um, yeah, I did want to say one thing. Somebody brought up to me um, on my behind-the-scenes video that it'd be a good idea to do like a special video every month. And um, he suggested maybe doing a Q&A, and now I always liked him watch people do Q&As, and I thought they were, they were really cool, um, really professional, I guess. I just like watching people answer questions, I guess. But um, And so I would definitely love to do a Q&A. It's just the thing is I never thought I'd um, get enough questions to actually make a decent video up about it. So um, what I'm going to do is leave it open for... Anybody who wants to comment a question in the comment section below, um, and I will give you a shout out on my video. The comment will be shown in the video, and I'll answer it to my best, um, you know, to my best. And you know, um, you know, you'll get a shout out. And all the questions are appreciated. No question is a dumb question unless it's a dumb question. By the way, no inappropriate questions. I mean. And just, you know, just, you know, it's not something really, like, inappropriate that it's just, like, you no know, swear words or something, but, um, like, nothing that's really inappropriate, guys, is basically what I'm trying to say, um, so, you know, just any questions about more, I mean, personal life, I mean, I guess I could answer some of those questions if it's not too personal, and cars questions, anything about that, school, whatever, um, and, uh, you can leave all those questions on this video, last video, future videos, and one of these days, if I have enough questions, I'll make a video out of it. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for doing that, and uh, let's get on to the tunes here. Um, before I actually got started with these tunes, um, I did say this wasn't going to be about three packs, but um, a three pack has actually been found in the United Kingdom of Mia and Tia, the Dalmatian Mia and Tia along with the rescue squad ambulance like this so it's a three pack of these three models that um haven't been released in a while i believe they haven't been released i don't think um re-released so that's kind of cool um i haven't found it nobody's found it in the united states i guess um yet but um hopefully that'll get here soon it'd be kind of nice for newer collection uh, collectors um, another thing I wanted to say is that I received my Jumpstar J were in the mail. Very awesome. Um, I don't know if I'll be doing a video on him soon because the package came in pristine condition. i much rather try to wait until I found another one in the stores to open up and keep this one packaged because, I mean, this is like perfect packaging and I don't think I'll ever get an opportunity like this again. Um, plus, it's not really anything special. It's just a repaint of a car. So, um, sorry, I don't, probably won't do a review on this for a while yet. But, um, uh, what else do I want to talk about? Well, that's pretty much it. Um, now I guess we can really get into the tunes, but um, I already showed all their card backs and their names and everything, so I guess now we could just get into their individual reviews. 
As you may have noticed, there are eight cards on the back of each of these card backs. Um, I only picked up four of them because there were only four of them I needed. Or no, I didn't need any of these actually. I only picked up four of the ones that I thought were cool, which was Heavy Metal Lane McQueen, Rocky and Eddie from Heavy Metal Mater, Dr. Apple Shrub Wagon from Unidentified Flying Mater, and the Rescue Squad Trooper from Rescue Squad Mater. Um, Bucky Break Dust is actually a new release. He is a repaint of Big Fan, the red version. So they basically just made a blue version. It's kind of cool. Um, I'll definitely be getting like two of him. Um, Komodo, I think, was released last year. Same thing with Dragon Lane McQueen. So I won't be um, doing a or showing them really in this video. I just wanted to show the ones that um, kind of stood out. Kabuto Ninja, I did a review on in the three pack. So if you want to check that out, you can check that out. But um, right now, I just have the Rescue Squad Troop here so we could take a closer look at him um i won't be opening these ones up obviously because i already have ones opened up from when they were released so um here you go i'm not aware of any variance between the new version and the old version so i'm just gonna show what the old versions look like um he does have rescue uh squad trooper on the side with a badge uh, of course the light bar on the top the RST, I think that means Rescue Squad Trooper, of course, 01, um, Rescue Squad Trooper on the back too, and uh, Rescue Squad something, or uh, Rescue Squad Q, and then it says COP, um, I'm not sure what the Q means, um, so I really don't know what that means. Um, it says something above that, but it's really too small to read. Um, if you guys don't think this card is familiar, I mean, it is familiar. Um, this is actually a repaint of Axel Accelerator, the um, the kind of security card from Cars 2 that gave a police escort of Mac um, out of the um, speedway of the South Stadium. Uh, of course, he has Highway Patrol on him with a badge. Um, and same on the back. So they basically are the same thing. They just have new decals and stuff. So they're pretty cool. I'm not um, dissing Mattel for making these two the same model because most likely they were the same model. I mean, they're standard issue police cars. So, I mean, what can you really expect from that? I really do actually like this model. I think it's kind of a really unique. I really do like um, police cars like that. I think, I think it's pretty cool. So that's pretty much it for Rusty Squad Trooper. Um, uh, so yeah, hopefully we see more from Rusty Squad Mater. Now on the Dr. Abishup Wagon, as you can see right here, or Abishup Wagon, however you want to pronounce that, um, from Unidentified Flying Mater. Um, I did realize, I kind of said something stupid in the last clip, but um, we already are seeing more from Rescue Squad Mater. As I said, we got the ambulance and the Dalmatian, me and Tia, so that's pretty cool. Um, but here is Dr. Abishup Wagon. This is basically Mater trying to impersonate the doctor to get in to save Mater, Mator, the um, UFO. Um, so that's pretty cool. I mean, I do like this short. I just wish they made more out of it um, Like instead of just kind of making the corporal a helicopter and the um, um, Army Jeep, but they could have done a lot more with this um, tune, but as you can see he got this yellow hood um, and a little grill to make it look like he has a mustache there. I really do like the glasses on him. I mean, they're kind of like faded and you can, can't really see inside, but it looks really nice. They've got a nice rough texture to them too. Um, he does have this little thing I said, it's like the little headband. I really don't know actually what that's for. Um, I, I knew... I knew at one time what this was for, and now I just kind of forgot it. But here's the regular lenticular meter I have, as you can compare them. Uh, they did upgrade this to a uh, yellow wheel. I know that meter used to have a like just a brown wheel in the back. Um, and of course, he does have the white wheel on the back left. When before Mater, all he just used to have all brown wheels. So at some point along the line, they changed it. Um, to a back yellow wheel and a back white wheel. Um, I don't even know what is correct in the movie. I think the actually all brown wheel might be correct, but um, I'm just going off of what it looks like on the package up here. Uh, so nothing too much to say about Dr. Abshell Wagon. Uh, I think this is a, kind of a really nice, um, unique Mater. I mean, he hasn't been released uh, a long time. I mean, when they did the on death flight by mayor, I did. I think these are actually rather hard to find, but um, hopefully maybe they'll release something new of on death flight by mayor. 
Rocky and Eddie, the two guitarists from Heavy Metal Mater. Um, these actually have been released in a three pack last year or 2013 or something with Heavy Metal Mater. So it's nice to get them in a single release now. Um, again, these are the two guitarists from Heavy Metal Mater. This one having the blue guitar that says Mater on it. Um, this is my least favorite. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, this is rocky i mean if you go in the order here it says that rocky's on the left and the eddie's on the right so if you're going off of that this would be rocky but i actually say i have to like um eddie a bit more because i love his hat and i love the texture they give to the forklift here uh or like the little hands or whatever you want to call them because they've got a lot more texture to it than um rocky's here um and of course he does have this huge top hat on that is textured as well of course, instead of just a bandana but um it'd be actually nice if they released a drummer pity that was in heavy metal made their um they've only released the two guitarists pity um so it'd be cool if they did a drummer pity that'd be awesome actually um these pities are brand new molds they're not the same as like the piston cup racers you can see the backs are different there and they're obviously not the same as guido i mean they're just like way bigger uh of course they do have things on the tampos on the side to represent like studs on a leather jacket unfortunately they're not like textured but um the zipper on rocky here is actually um textured raised off the paint very cool it goes all the way around looks absolutely amazing i do really like these pities um one thing i wanted to say about the packaging for the all these tunes is that i think it'd be cool if they put the actual art file of the character and not the mater from that um short i that's just my personal opinion um i think it'd give a lot more interest or interesting to the package um interest to package and last but definitely not least is Heavy Metal Lightning McQueen. I was about to say Mater there. Um, but this is probably my least favorite out of the ones that I bought. Although a lot of your least favorite would probably be the Rusty Squad Trooper. But this McQueen never really appealed to me that much. I don't know. He is pretty cool, I have to say. But um, probably my le one of my least favorites, though, from the ones that I just bought. Um, he is very cool, though. He does have the nice sunglasses on. Um, uh, Again, there is no variance to any of these models that I know of. Um, nobody has posted any variant like pictures of these. Uh, even though I'm pretty sure that this is the old version, he still he has a mouth plate there, and in the package you could also still see the line right there. So it looks like he still has a mouth plate. So nothing really changed with that. Um, it's kind of cool how he has this leather jacket going around here, making it look like he's got like studs, and it's really cool. Um, feels uh, texturized of course very nice um, on the back it's just kind of black I wish they could have put some decorations on the back here that'd be kind of cool he, he's got these nice um, just de general like um, default wheels nothing too special about the wheels um, he does have Lane McQueen ran up there um, where he usually does in like a little signature style there his eyes like under these sunglasses just kind of like for Brizio. Um, so nothing too much more to say about having Mel Mater. That's pretty much it for all the 2015's tunes that have been released so far. Hopefully, we'll see some new releases, kind of like Bucky Break does. Um, they have been releasing... Um, what's it? They have been releasing, or no, I have seen this on eBay a few times, the Bucky Break Dust. So hopefully he'll appear very soon along with that three pack in the United States. But, uh, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys did enjoy. Um, I feel like I, I don't know, I feel like this video didn't come out to the way I really wanted it to be. I hope you guys did enjoy it though. I mean, I don't really have much more to say about these. I wish I could do more of an unboxing, but it'd be a waste for me to unbox these. But um, what um, tune would you like to see re-released? Would you guys like to see like the Buck the Tooth Vendor re-released? Or maybe um, Dex from Heavy Metal Mater again? Or the, the um, some more of the uh, Tokyo Mater um, modified cars like to buy new or yojimbo or something like that so that'd be pretty cool if one of those would get a re-release instead of like kind of these boring ones like uh like dragon Lane mcqueen or whatever but thank you guys for watching hope you did enjoy this video um and i'll see you guys next time again remember to post comments in the comment section below goodbye now